My name is Nutmeg, and for this year's science fair, I decided to experiment with science fiction and created Bandler Wagner, a totally awesome robot with incredible time travel hair who sometimes gets on my nerves. Get off my nerves, get off my nerves! Now, together with Woolworth, my lab assistant, we get to travel through time, having awesome science fiction adventures while saving the Earth from the evil alien hordes of Chancellor Maniac, which is pretty much all I've ever wanted to do my whole entire life. But science fiction is isn't real science. Ugh, this is my science fiction project. Hi, Nutmeg. Leave me alone. I wish that weird girl would leave me alone. Why don't you ask her nicely? Ugh. In my experience as a science fictionist, asking nicely has been proven to never solve anything. 1,700,432. One million seven hundred. Hey, pals! You impressed with my zero arm push ups or what? Well. Don't answer yet. Let's use my MI Impressatron measuring device to find out. Uh, why do you have to do everything the hard way? You created me. Ready, Woolworth? Gee, I hope I'm impressed. <laughs> Bleh. But your hair looks great. Yeah, I know. I guess we're just too sophisticated. I mean, a caveman might be impressed with something oh, like that, but... Are we gonna time travel back to caveman times? Oh, I can visit my family. And Madler Wagner could finally impress somebody with his push-ups. That's not a bad idea. Then I'm glad I thought of it. Setting a course for when the Earth was still in diapers. Pizza? 46. 47. 48. I don't think he's impressed, Nutmeg. But that's impossible! His primitive caveman brain has never experienced anything remotely as cool as your push-ups. Then we must examine his brain. He doesn't have one! What do you mean he doesn't have one? Maybe somebody borrowed it. Did they leave a note? Why would they leave a note? Because it's the polite thing to do. Found the note! Uh... Dear Mandler Wagner, I have taken this caveman's brain up into outer space. Love, Chancellor Maniac. Sounds like we've stumbled upon another one of Maniac's crazy schemes again. And without a brain, that caveman will never be impressed with your zero-arm push-ups. Well, then I guess we better go up there to outer space and ask Chancellor Maniac very nicely to... Negative. The only way we're getting that brain back is by performing an astounding feat of science fiction wonder. You mean like this? <laughs> Uh-huh. Or this? Uh-huh. Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Ugh. Would you just transform into a spaceship and take us up into outer space already? Like that? Uh-huh. Now, where's Chancellor Maniac hiding that brain? Maybe it's in that giant science fiction nose. Whoa! I love going on these crazy adventures with you guys. Yeah! They are pretty cool, aren't they? What are you guys doing? We're trying to override the security system on this door, which is connected to the mainframe computer in the ship's cyber hull so that we can fry the network and get inside. How did you get inside? I just knocked on the door. <sighs> Oh, good company! Why did you remove that caveman's brain from his head and take it up into outer space, Chancellor Maniac? Please, call me Chance. I'll give you one more chance to answer Nutmeg's question. <laughs> you mean this brain? Yeah, that's the what. I'm gonna sit on this brain until it hatches and cute little puppy dogs come out. Then, together, we shall rule the universe as father and puppies! Oh, hello. Are you a potato? Uh, so I guess we gotta somehow get him off of that brain. Maybe if we ask him nicely, he'll sit somewhere else. But Nutmeg said... The only way we're getting that brain back is by performing an astounding feat of science fiction wonder. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now use your tusks to lift up Chancellor Maniac. What are you doing? Put me down at hey, once. Nutmeg, you. Grab the brain? No, hold still while I teleport that caveman's brain into your backpack. Yeah, but I could just pick it up right now and then we could... Hmm, that's weird. Maybe if I give it more juice. Well, where did it go? Oops. 
Get it off me! Get it off me! Are you okay? <laughs> Wasn't so bad. Uh, Mandler, quick, perform astounding feat of science fiction wonder. Can't. Modifiable gravitational field uh, damaged. Oh no, this is terrible. But I'm still having a great time. Then there's only one thing we can do now. Ask very nicely to get that brain back. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Excuse me, uh, Chance, could you, um, please stop sitting on that braid and give it back to us? <laughs> of course I will. I can totally go sit somewhere else. Here you go. Uh, thanks? You're welcome. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> me neither. I guess Woolworth had the right idea all along. Good job, Woolworth. Wait, you tricked me. What? Retrieve that caveman brain at once! Why should we? Yeah, why don't you just ask us nicely for once? Because I gave you all those pretty monkey legs you wanted! So you owe me! Oh, yeah. Now, to get this brain back inside that caveman's head so that he can be impressed with my zero-arm push-ups. Oh, no! Pterodactyls with pretty monkey legs off the port bow! <laughs> oh, you're serious. It is so awesome! Unham that puppy dog egg! I can't shake him, Nutmeg. We'll have to make a jump to light speed. Initiating thrusters. What can I do to help? Just keep being a nice guy. Why have we stopped? Follow them! We're not going one more step until we get awesome jump to light speed power legs like those ones. Where are we? We've landed directly inside that caveman's head. That's exactly where we needed to put this brain. Gee, I hope this works. There's only one way to find out. One, two, three. Bravo, Ooga! We did it! Now that he has a brain again, that caveman is totally impressed with Mandler's push-ups. And I learned where puppy dogs come from! And I learned that sometimes asking nicely can be an astounding feat of science fiction wonder. Hi, Nutmeg! Leave me alone. <sighs> Please leave me alone. Okay! I love science fiction.